Hey kids, it's Papa. You ready to explore the Bible? All right. Well, hope you're having a good Wednesday so far. Um, but uh, let's see. Take your Bibles and turn with me to 1 Kings chapter 16. 1 Kings chapter 16. Now, we've been looking at the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Now we're going we're gonna to concentrate on the northern kingdom just a little bit. Remember that uh, Jeroboam had uh, taken the northern kingdom away uh, out of Israel. And then we talked about his son Nadab only reigned for two years and uh, Basha reigned for longer. And, uh, and then uh, there was a prophet by the name of Jehu who the Lord spoke through and, and said, uh, by the way, there's a king Jehu and a prophet Jehu. And you have to understand the difference between the two, but uh, this is the prophet Jehu. And uh, the prophet Jehu said uh, by the Lord, said, Basha, you have been wicked. You have done everything that your, you know, that uh, Jeroboam, uh, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin, he, everything that he did, you followed in that. And uh, so, you know, just like what happened with him, all of your children are going to die too. And, uh, and he went on to say that, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, people, that, your children that die in the city, the dogs are going to eat. The, the ones that die outside the city, the birds are going to eat. And anyway, kind of picturesque. But uh, in any case, um, and so sure enough, um, Basha died and put his son Ella on the throne. And uh, Ella reigned very shortly, and then he was uh, killed by Zimri. And uh, Zimri was one of his generals. And uh, Zimri went and killed all of Basha's kids and left their bodies out to get eaten by dogs and birds, <laughs> in any case. Uh, <clears throat> and, and so um, then uh, Omri took over, and, uh, and then uh, Ahab came to the throne. And uh, all of this happened during the reign of Asa in the southern kingdom, and, and so it's kind of interesting to note that kings came and went in the northern kingdom because they didn't reign very long. There was violence. One of those kings got so drunk that uh, one of his generals just came in and killed him. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> in any case, but Asa, because he was serving the Lord, uh, he reigned for 41 years and was able to, well, reign for 41 years, which is something that they didn't do in the northern kingdom. But then comes Ahab, and I want you to take a look with me, if you will, in 1 Kings chapter 16, starting in verse 29. Uh, and in the 20th and 8th year of Asa, the king of Judah, began Ahab, the son of Omri, to reign over Israel. And Ahab, the son of Omri, reigned over Israel in Samaria 20 and 2 years. Okay, that's pretty long for up there. And Ahab, the son of Omri, did evil. Verse 30, he did evil in the sight of the Lord above all that were before him, even worse than Jeroboam. But notice it says in verse 31, and it came to pass that if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sons of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, he took to wife Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbaal, king of the Zidonians, and went and served Baal and worshipped him. Now here he is, a, a king of the Israelites, and he should have been worshiping Jehovah. But instead now, he says, well, no, I'm going to get married to this uh, Jezebel. That's interesting. Jezebel was even more wicked than he was. And Jezebel, I think, was the one that was the leader in the family. Uh, and uh, we, we find that, that she was just as wicked, if not more wicked. And she was the one who apparently talked to uh, Ahab into building a temple to Baal and worshiping Baal and causing all Israel to worship Baal, a false god. And, uh, and you know what? God was going to deal with both of them for that. Um, and so what I need you to see here is that it is important that we be very careful about who we choose to be our friends, um, who we choose to marry, because that's going to determine who we are. Do you realize that your friends are going to make a difference as to who you are and what you become? They're going to introduce you to things, some of them good, some of them bad. 
and you need to be careful about your friends. The first thing is you need to choose good friends. And secondly, you need to be, to be a good friend to your friends. Now that doesn't mean agreeing with everything they say. It means agreeing with everything God says and doing right and being a good example to your friends. And if, by the way, they they want you to do something that is against what you know God wants you to do, then you need to say, no, I'm not going to do that. And if you insist that we do it, then we can't be friends anymore because God is my primary friendship. Do you understand? This is important. And I can't stress this enough. This is important now and for the rest of your life. The friends that you make, the friends that you keep, are going to determine who you become. And that's why your best friend needs to be Jesus Christ. Now, you're saved. You're on your way to heaven. That's great. But that's where it starts, not where it ends. Because the Bible tells us that, uh, that Jesus wants to walk beside us. And he needs to be your primary friend. And others... Good to have good friends, but not if they violate your friendship with your best friend, Jesus Christ. And so you need to realize that. Your friends are going to determine who you are and who you become. And so please choose wisely and then be a good friend. Okay? Hey, love you guys. See you later. Bye.